What is your experience with the architecture of electronic voting machines, specifically the Diebold machines? Um, my personal experience with them is purely as an outside observer asking to look at them. They refuse to show the architecture or allow it to be exposed to any kind of significant expert. The people who I have met who they claim have certified their machines have no knowledge of architecture whatsoever. Now who has asked you to look at the architecture? No one has asked me to look at the architecture of a voting machine. I have repeatedly asked to look at the architecture of voting machines. Why? They will not allow us to do so. Because the s fundamental structures that Diebold has used to set up their voting machines are inherently flawed. They're what I would consider IT junk. Why do you say that? On what basis? Because they do not allow the code any kind of validation or check that allows for a local auditor to confirm that it is in a configuration pattern appropriate for voting. So if you're going to set up, let's look at a Diebold ATM, which we work with a lot. If you're going to set up a Diebold ATM system at a bank, every line of code in that machine, which would be 30 to 35,000 lines of code, is inspected by four or five people where each of the fields are confirmed that they're going to pass the information correctly to the machines that pass out the money, to the machines that take and validate your card, to the little motors that push your card back out to you, to the receipt printers, and to the integrated databases on the back end. No process inside of that is not followed with a four eyes operation, meaning two different people have to be looking at each step of the process at each step of the way. And those people are not from Diebold. One of them is from the installation group and one of them is from the bank. Otherwise, the machine is not certified for use. And this is not happening with respect to an electronic voting machine? Not my knowledge. So what you're saying is there's more security regarding the dispensing of a $20 bill and the fact if you don't get that $20 bill, there is more of an audit system set up? Of course. Okay. Um, before we get into this, I just wanted to kind of do some background with the electronic voting machine. It emerged out of the 2000 election debacle. With the hanging Earlier chair. than that. But it was global. Well, mm, global election systems, a group out of Texas, was pushing these back in 1998. I first became aware of it and actually wrote a short uh, letter encouraging people to not use these in 1999, before the 2000 election debacle. What happened in 2000 is, all of a sudden, you had a number of electronic systems fail during that election. The Volusia County incident, in which 16,000 votes suddenly vanished and then reappeared, and several uncertified cards somehow ended up in the system, also a Diebold system. That sort of got lost in the hanging Chad debate in Florida. However, there's a very strong argument to be made that the 2000 election was electronically stolen. The hanging chads are just a distraction.